All right, so it's been a crazy week for fans of Apex Legends. Yesterday, they announced that Apex Legends Mobile is being shut down. Uh, I made a short about that. We're going to talk about that. I mean, for other Battlefield fans as well, EA fans in general, is that a, is that a thing? Uh, right, right now, it's tough, right? Uh, Battlefield Mobile has been canceled, but today they announced that the single-player game set in the Apex Legends slash Titanfall universe... Well, um, it wasn't announced. It was leaked, I'm sorry, by a very reliable source. Jason Schreier of Bloomberg. Uh, he's pretty much always right on the money. Uh, this game has been canceled. It was never quite 100% official. Uh, they had job postings for it. It was pretty much out in the open, but it was never, you know, formally announced. Trailers, nothing like that. That game has been canceled. So let's talk about what's going on with Apex, what's going on with EA, and uh, my thoughts on all this. I'm going to show you some Apex gameplay in the meantime from one of my recent streams over at twitch.tv slash Mayor Reynolds. Okay, so... Uh, here's what happened. So this game was announced quite some time ago, or again, leaked quite some time ago. They've been working on it for some time. It's a single-player game set in the Apex or Titanfall universe. Several things to unwrap here. First of all, many people always wanted just a Titanfall 3. Uh, when you're talking about a single-player game in the Apex universe, which is based in the Titanfall universe, why not just make Titanfall 3? I know a lot of people... Um, including myself are titanfall fans but um the titanfall fit games unfortunately sales wise never achieved what they certainly deserve they're much better than the success that they achieved and there's reasons for that uh one the first game was exclusive to a console that had just launched and um it did not launch well thanks don matrick um even then it was super underrated but it also underperformed because the console base was small at the time and and that so then they made the sequel, Titanfall 2. Uh, a lot of people believe it has one of the best FPS campaigns of all time. Again, multiplayer was great. And uh, unfortunately, they launched it right in between Battlefield and Call of Duty. Battlefield was published by EA, by the way. So they, sp they spread out the potential player base for their game. And obviously, Call of Duty and Battlefield got more marketing than Titanfall. Titanfall basically underperformed because of this. And then EA eventually canceled what would be Titanfall 3 uh, because Titanfall wasn't doing the numbers. The silver lining in that story is that we got Apex Legends instead, uh, what is essentially a Battle Royale game set in the Titanfall universe. It's shadow dropped and it's, it's done amazing numbers, way more than the Titanfall games ever dreamed of at the time. Many of us uh, wanted them to make a Titanfall 3 in light of this, knowing that Okay, now they can cross market and cross promote Titanfall 3. And um, that should help drive more players to Titanfall 3 since Apex has uh, millions upon millions of players. It's one of the more successful shooters of the past decade for sure, right? You know, I, I know a lot of people will rag on the state of the game right now. You know, season 15, people don't like this about it. They don't like that about it. But it can't be disputed. It's one of the more successful shooters of the past decade. So they were developing a single player game set in the Apex Legends universe, which is actually also the Titanfall universe. Um, but it's now been it's now been canceled. It's no longer being made. And I have very mixed feelings on this. Um, first of all, I think, and I've said this for a long time, I think their approach, EA's approach to the success of Apex Legends has been misguided from the start. I think they have something very special, something very successful, and they've repeatedly drop the ball um, instead of investing in apex legends itself right and, and doing what epic has done with fortnite they knew they had a very successful game and they went all in on it Let, let's put all of our resources in it let's invest in it let's make it one of the best games on the market with the collaborations constant content uh ea has done the opposite they have not really built out uh respawn uh very fast as fast as they should and could have uh, and by investing in them and giving them more resources to develop Apex Legends, instead of doing what they what Epic did with Fortnite, um, they basically tried to instead of taking advantage of Apex Legends uh, and building Apex Legends and feeding that community, and uh, they decided, okay, we're going to take advantage of respawn. Uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way, although I think it does end up being a negative because now they have respawn on. It was like five or six different projects. They had Apex Legends, the Apex Legends single player game. They had them 
weren't making the, uh, the Star Wars Jedi games. The sequel uh, is about to come out, uh, Jedi Survivor. And then they're also making, I think, two other Star Wars games. Uh, so it turns out, for whatever reason, we don't know why, this single player game is not going to come out. We have no idea whether that means the quality wasn't up to par. They no longer think there's a market for it. Um, who knows, right? But I would say, again, this was misguided the entire time, personally. And I, I'm not happy to see the game canceled by any means, but they should have taken whatever budget they now spent millions of dollars on this game, this single player game. Uh, and, it, and, it's, and now it's all for naught. It's, it's for nothing. They should have put that money into Apex Legends and building out more content for Apex Legends because they already have the players there. They've already got the community there. They've already got people willing to spend money from a business perspective there. Uh, so this single player game never made a lot of sense to me, especially because the monetization of single player games is becoming increasingly difficult uh, in the gaming industry as, as time goes on. So what they were thinking with this to begin with, I don't quite know. But now what I know is they spent millions of dollars on this game. It's not coming out for whatever reason. And uh, so now, where are we? Uh, they just canceled, or not canceled, they totally shut, they're shutting down Apex Legends Mobile which again, how do you drop? How do you drop that ball? Wildly successful game with Apex Legends to begin with, uh, and then the mobile version was actually heralded for how how well how good of a game it was. Uh, it was it was nominated for Mobile Game of the Year awards at the Game Awards. It it did receive Mobile Game of the Year from both the Android platform and Apple themselves. So the quality of Apex Legends was really high. They put exclusive legends in the game. But that was basically all the marketing they did. They didn't market this game at all. They put it out there and it was really good. The developers seemed to have done their job, which was primarily not Respawn, by the way. Um, this was developed with a, with a partner. I can't remember if it was Tencent or NetEase. It's probably one of the two though. Um, and they somehow dropped the ball with it. It obviously wasn't making enough money. And uh, they cut the cord less than a year after the game released. Which, how does that happen? When you have one of the most successful shooters, you make a mobile version, which is very, a uh, mobile platform is very cheap to develop for. It's also the biggest by numbers gaming platform in the world. There's more gamers on the mobile platform than any other platform, including PC and consoles. How do you screw that up? It, it, it seems like an easy win, but because they either they can't market it or they just couldn't connect with the community or whatever, especially in some of these countries where mobile gaming is super, super popular, more so than in, in the US, for example. Those are markets just waiting to be tapped into and they, they couldn't do it. So this is how many times this now wildly successful franchise, they've, they've canceled games, which, hey, games get canceled sometimes. Not every game works out, but this one seems like it should have so many more successes. They canceled Titanfall 3. They were lucky that Respawn was able to turn it into Apex Legends. They had a Titanfall mobile game at one point that they canceled. That was going to be an RTS, I believe, if I remember correctly, or a strategy game of some kind. That got canceled. Now this Apex single player game gets canceled. Uh, the mobile version has been uh, is being shut down. I mean, what is going on? Like, why they have something that's wildly successful and popular that people want more content and 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 more experiences in this universe. And they can't do it. And and again, I've been saying this for a long time. Respawn is not big enough to support all these projects. Respawn is not a giant studio. It's not like uh, Epic. It's not like, um, who can I, Bungie has like way more employees, for example, than, than Respawn. They're not a ginormous studio. And, and EA has them split on like five or six different projects and they shouldn't be. They should be focused on Apex Legends as a core game and experience. But instead, because they made something amazing and wildly successful in Apex Legends, EA thinks, okay, we're gonna take them and we're gonna make them do all this other stuff because they're obviously so good and so talented. That's true, they are so good and so talented, but you can't, they've spread them way, way, way too thin. They took Vince Zampella the founder of the studio, the head of the studio, 
and he's now he's now overseeing both respawn and the battlefield franchise so again they're spreading him even uh even the head of the studio um wider than he than he used to be and it just it's all very confusing because they somehow have something so successful and with so much potential and in my opinion it's still the best battle royale out even though it's had some missteps especially over the past year it's had some seasons that weren't very inspiring or exciting but at its core it's still the best battle royale out there in my opinion and will continue to be um but how they keep somehow dropping the ball like this and not capitalizing on what they have is uh it's really sad to me um and I, and I think it's a disservice not only to the apex community but the respawn themselves who are again they they they're carrying ea in so many ways and they have been for for uh a few years now and and you know ea's responding by telling them hey just just split yourselves apart and make six six more games uh don't capitalize on the one that you have which we're making a ton of money from and people love uh instead you can try to the team on your back i guess um if you know what i mean uh let me know what you think about this are you sad that the apex legends single player game has been canceled are you surprised um do you you know do you think and see that's that's the shame of it they already spent all this money developing this game and uh you, you can't go back like that money's already spent those resources are already spent they can't like they can't go back and then now put that money into the core game of apex and developing more content for apex instead right it's uh too late for that and if this is the beginning uh, of ea turning a corner and um maybe you know reallocating more resources to apex itself uh hey in the long run even though as sad as as this is in some regards i'll be i'll be for it but um the way ea has been going i just don't know if that's that's gonna happen so let me know what you think about this let me know how you're feeling as an apex fan in the comments or a titanfall fan or whatever um how do you feel about the cancellation of both uh the apex single player game as well as the shutdown of apex legends mobile i will say uh the battlefield mobile cancellation doesn't surprise me or hurt me so much because i really think the battlefield formula won't translate to mobile very well uh mobile gaming's come a long way but i still just don't i don't really see the market for battlefield uh on, on mobile right now and and battlefield is a franchise it's essentially being uh, not not rebooted per se but kind of it's getting like a soft reset they know they've screwed up too many times they've appointed new new studios to work on it and uh they're, they're kind of are pressing that reset button so to cancel the mobile version at this point um i, I don't think a lot of people are going to be either surprised or hurt by that i do think it's it's wild that the battlefield franchise as big as it is um should be looking to capitalize on the mobile market and such in the long run but maybe just that time isn't now and then maybe maybe we'll see something like uh battlefield return to mobile later down the road i still think what they should be looking at uh for, for battlefield mobile is probably something like the, the long defunct battlefield heroes if you remember that game you're you're a winner uh, or you're a boomer like me so anyway guys if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel get more of that that content here on the channel i'm always posting new content live streaming find me on tiktok youtube facebook instagram all those other places use code mayor to order some g fuel to support us and uh we will see you in the next video oh also subscribe to my midnight mayor channel which is dedicated exclusively to dead drop and midnight society the new extraction shooter from dr disrespect and company so see you in the next video mayor reynolds out